How's it going, sports fans? You're inside the locker room. I'm your host, David Sauer. Today we will be talking ORU women's basketball and their road through the Summit League tournament coming up this weekend. ORU finished the regular season 15 and 14 overall. They finished 9 and 7 in Summit League play, good enough to earn the number three seed in the tournament coming up again this weekend. First game up for the Golden Eagles will be against number six seed North Dakota State, Sunday, March 8th at 2.30 p.m. Winning that game will match them against the winner of the game between South Dakota State and Denver. ORU is bringing a lot of momentum into this game. They've won five out of the last seven. They're only giving up 58 points per game in their last seven games. Their defense, most of all, has been spectacular. The Golden Eagles played North Dakota State twice this year in the regular season. The first game on January 2nd was actually the first Summit League conference game of the season for ORU. North Dakota State shot 48% and hit eight three-pointers in that game. The defense was not where ORU head coach Misty Cousin wanted it at the time. North Dakota State guard Brooke Lamar scored 22 points. ORU center Vicki McIntyre was held to just 7 points in that game, although she did have 14 rebounds. That's one of the very few games this year that Vicki didn't have a double-double and wasn't approaching the 20-point range. That was on January 2nd. Fast forward now to February 11th and the regular season rematch. This is the part of the season where ORU started to find a rhythm defensively. They started playing aggressive defense. They were forcing more turnovers. They played North Dakota State at home in the Maybe Center and won that game 67-41. to Their best defensive performance of the year by far. The Bison were held to just 31.9% shooting. They hit 1-3 compared to the 8 they hit earlier in the year. Brooke Lamar was held to 10 points. Vicki McIntyre had 13 points and 18 rebounds. ORU hit five threes in that game, but what they really did more than anything was shined on the defensive end of the ball. They forced 19 turnovers, they stole the ball nine times, held the Bison to a minuscule 16 points in the first half. That was the performance later in the year where ORU was really starting to get to the level they are at now. The defensive aggressiveness is the main improvement that this team has had over the course of the season, and they're going to need that in the tournament if they're going to have success. Misty Cousin and this team knows that defense is going to be critical for ORU to have success. They're also going to have to limit their turnovers. ORU is the worst team in the Summit League at turnover margin. They give up 16.1 turnovers per game. ORU has to limit those numbers. If they keep the turnover number low and if they play the excellent defense, that will make the difference in a tournament environment playing on the road against a team that can be difficult. If North Dakota State gets into a hot shooting rhythm, they can be a tough team to beat. If ORU wins game one, which it really looks like they're likely to do, their next opponent is most likely going to be South Dakota State, which is probably the toughest matchup for ORU in the tournament. South Dakota State has the best defense in the league. They only give up 61 points per game in conference. They have the best field goal percentage. They're the best rebounding team. And they have the best turnover margin in the league. ORU lost both games to South Dakota State this year. They lost 71-46 to on the road, and then later in the season lost 66-52 at home, which was a better game, but still not where ORU wanted to be against South Dakota State. Head coach Misty Cousin has said that South Dakota State is probably one of the toughest teams they could have to face. Here's what she said after they lost to South Dakota State in the Maybe Center. South Dakota State's got a great size advantage on us. That surprises people when we've got a 6 7 center. But a lot of the things that we're able to do against other teams in our conference, um, you just can't do them against South Dakota State because from point guard to five, they're all six foot or over. When they played here at the Maybe Center against South Dakota State, Coach Cousin was very upset that ORU didn't execute the game plan. It was probably the most upset I've ever seen her after a basketball game. Another important factor in the tournament is going to be if you can get contributions from players outside of Vicki McIntyre. In the second game against South Dakota State in the Maybe Center, McIntyre had 27 points, but no other player on the team had more than 8 points. ORU also gave up 39 first-half points in that game. 
The defense let them down early. ORU has to be better if they have to play South Dakota State a second time. They're going to need other players to step up and help McIntyre because as, as good as she is, she can't win the tournament by herself. It is a team sport. They'll need other players, other names such as Dorka Bala, Faith Iham, or Jordan Doyle to step up and give more contribution than they did in that second game in the Maybe Center. The way ORU is set up, though, and the way that Vicki McIntyre plays, ORU doesn't need huge 20-point games from everybody in order to win because McIntyre is going to have a double-double, and in every one of these games in the tournament, she's going to have close to 20 points and probably going to have 15 to 20 rebounds. If they can get just a couple of players outside Vicky to get in that 10-point range, if they get a 10-point contribution from, say, Faith Iham, 10 points from Jordan Doyle, get some contributions from some of the outside shooters. If Dorka Bala can hit a couple threes, you get Jordy Gilbert to come in off the bench and hit a couple threes. That's a recipe for success for the Golden Eagles against South Dakota State. If you can get the first two wins, they'll then play for the Summit League Championship. There they could face a team like South Dakota, who's the number one seed in the tournament. They could face a team like Western Illinois, who has excellent shooters if they're hot, and has Ashley Luke, the conference player of the year. But there's no team in the tournament that challenges ORU quite like South Dakota State does. If ORU can give a top-of-their-game performance against South Dakota State, if they potentially have to play them, and make it to the final, I don't think it matters what team they'll face there. They're the better team in that matchup. If they can get three wins in a row, that's a conference championship, and that's an NCAA tournament berth, and that's the goal that this team set out to get at the beginning of the year. Realistically, the only team standing in their way is South Dakota State. If ORU plays the type of defense they have been late in the season and gets that contributions from other team members, they'll be able to win games up there and be able to contend for the conference championship. Reporting to you from the ORU campus, I'm David Sauer. Thanks for listening.